first page is eight Guitar Hero games. One, two, 80s, three, World Tour, Smash Hits, Aerosmith, and five. Never owned Metallica. Not sure why. Burnout 3. Burnout's always fun. Love Crash and shit. Cupid and Tactics. Smackdown Raw 2007. Battlefront 2. Love this game. Onimusha 2. Rock Band. Silent Hill 4. Great game. Indigo Prophecy. Very good game. If you didn't know, if you haven't played that, play that. People and the guy that wrote uh, Heavy Rain made that good game. MTV Music Generator 2. Great game. Well, program. Whatever. Defiance. Legacy of Kane. Another great game. Hitman Blood Money. Never played it. Actually, that was given to me. I bought this, though. Finny the Fish. Weird, but in a weird way, good. X-Squad. Horrible game. Launch game. Horrible game. Cost me all of $1.50. So I bought it. Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick, another classic game. Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, Chaos Legion, nah, they're okay. Best game on this page, Defiance. What we got here, Pro Skater 3. Used to love some Tony Hawk. Force Unleashed, Dynasty Warriors 3. GTA Liberty City Stories. Good game. Good game. I used to have it on the PSP. Music Maker. Red Faction, the first one. Great game. Great game. Dynasty Warrior 6. Jet Li Rise to Honor. That cost me all of $3. Still a good game. Tiring on the hands, though. You have to use the analog to attack, and it's, it works, but it's going to wear your arms out. Stuntman. Great game. Great game. That game actually taught me how to drive well. In most other games. Uh, the document of Metal Gear Solid 2. Not Metal Gear Solid 2. Just pictures, interviews, stuff like that. Still good. GTA Vice City Stories. Another good... Well, can't think of a really bad GTA game. The Thing. Good. But it can be hard. What do we got over here? Blood Omen 2. Definitely not the best in the series, but... What can I say? We got some Final Fantasies. X2, 10, and 12. Big fan of the Final Fantasies. Never got into the online ones, though. Good game. Manhunt 2. And again, any game. Let me get to kill a bunch of people gruesomely. Always good in my book. Shinobi. Great game. Oh, I haven't taken that one out in a while. The Bouncer. Very pretty game. Too easy, though. Way too easy. Xenosaga. I got some, uh, some RPGs here. Xenosaga Episode 1. Dervili Zermacht. Why they titled them all as... Something like that. I think they were books by Frederick Nietzsche or something. Episode 2. And Episode 3. And these ones are two discs, but I still count them only as one game. Just because there's two discs doesn't mean it's two games. There's Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons of Liberty. Zone of the Enders. Great game. Supposedly they're, they're working on a third one. That would be nice. Silent Hill 2, GTA 3, for some reason I have a demo in there, and we got some more role-playing games, Hook It In 3, 4, and 5, all right there, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, Theme Park Roller Coaster, for some reason I have two copies of GTA 3, Red Dead Revolver, it was okay, but Red Dead Redemption was so much better. There's Vice City. 
Bully. I've got a lot of Rockstar games. I just noticed that. Genji, Dawn of the Samurai. Not a bad game. There's the game. If you ever get a chance to play this game, play it. It's weird. You just fly around and suck blood from humans. It's actually weirdly satisfying. Another great game. All of three dollars to buy that. I can play that game forever. Forever. Rygar, the Legendary Adventure. Horrible game. Another three dollar game. Kessen. Not into strategy games, but I had it when it first came out and really the only one I play. Castlevania. Nothing wrong with some Castlevania. The new one was friggin' awesome. This is Lament of Innocence. Another great game. Never played it. Bujin Guy, The Forsaken City. Play that. Look up some videos, watch it. It's just great sword play. Tony Hawk 4. Both Maximo games. Army of Zin. Yeah. And there's my Prince of Persia's. Sands of Time, Warrior Within, Two Thrones. This isn't my disc for God of War 2 that's in the machine right now. Special features right here. There's a few other games that are being lent out. Um, God, I can't even remember them all. I know, I know two Mortal Kombat's. What else we got in here? Some PlayStation 1 games, because I don't have enough room in my book for PlayStation 1 games. But that's... That's all PS2. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, brain fart. Eight games right now are in the book. So that's not a bad collection. 68 PS2 games. With a couple being lent out. And then some PS1 games, as I said. Parasite Eve, Gran Turismo 2, Grand Stream Saga, Tenchu 2, Ape Escape for some reason. Another demo. These are great games. I wish that uh, the company Kronos never would have went under. Hard, very hard, but great games. Fear Effect 1 and Fear Effect 2 right there. And the classic. The original. Gotta have that. My only Xbox game, because I don't have an Xbox. Uh, Rainbow Six Three. Used to play the hell out of that. Oh, we got some GameCube games. Luigi's Mansion. F-Zero, Metroid, Wario World, Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, Blood Rain, epic, epic. If you love killing Nazis, it's so satisfying. Resident Evil Zero, Eternal Darkness, great game, great game. I recommend that game to everybody and anybody who plays video games. And then Resident Evil 4, Zelda, and Pikmin. That about finishes that book, but as you can see, we've got about three and a half pages left to fill, and then we're going to have to buy another book, because I own too many damn video games.